us, the Crab Brothers. I'm Chris. I'm Martin. And if you're a creature trying to survive in the tundra, you have to have some serious cold weather adaptations. And there's one animal who definitely has what it takes. These are muskoxen, the amazing shaggy powerhouses of the north. Oh, and I love that shaggy fur. It's so long. Very cool face on these creatures. A long, slopey face with those characteristic horns that swoop down and out. Musk ox live in herds, groups of about 10 to 20 oxen. They're made of males, females, and young, and everybody has to get along. That's because living together is vital, partly for protection from predators like Arctic wolves, and partly to help deal with the cold winter. After a snowfall, you'll find musk ox covered in snow. They don't mind. That shaggy fur keeps them warm. Hey, and the snow just gives extra insulation. But when they get up, <laughs> the snow can shake it off. They don't even care about this amount of snow and cold. But when it gets really cold, the musk oxen have to huddle together to help keep each other warm and to help block the wind from one another. Whoa, there they go on the run. Oh, musk oxen are faster than you might think. They can run up to 45 kilometers per hour. But musk oxen don't run very far or very long. That's because they're designed for hunkering down in this snowy, cold climate. They have to preserve heat. So when they start running, they overheat quickly. They're definitely short distance runners, but it's enough to get a running start for one of those awesome head-butting battles. like two freight trains sliding. And check out that thick coat of fur. The outer coat never stops growing and it's the first line of defense for blocking the cold wind. Underneath the long coat, there's a short fleecy layer of fur that helps keep them warm. They can withstand temperatures way below freezing. And those feet also have creature powers. Sometimes in the winter, the only way to get to food is to crack through the ice and snow, and they use their sharp hooves to get down in there, to pull away the snow, and to get to the grass and moss and lichen underneath. And check out this little guy. This is a baby muskox. He's only about four months old and already pretty big. <laughs> yeah, within hours after a muskox is born, he's up on his feet and ready to keep up with the herd. Now that's a pretty cool creature power for a baby. The first year's the toughest for the muskox, and he has to stay close to the herd. And in the winter, he even hides under his mom's skirt during the really cold days. Right, little buddy? Creature adventuring. We'll see you on the creature trail.